know, you look at the years, respectively, when they made their debuts between them, close to a quarter of a century of professional boxing experience. The stats relating to rounds and inside the distance wins are very similar. Both men known for their resilience and their grittiness, as we saw first time around. Well, one last shot, said David Colwell, talking to Derek Chisora. Get beat here, he says, and the big fights, the meaningless fights are gone. Eddie Hearn saying very similar in the studio a few moments ago. Such a big deal, this, for Joseph Parker here and for Derek Chisora. And round 13 of their great rivalry is underway. And remember, in the first contest, Chisora had Parker down inside the first 10 seconds. He said this week, Chisora, he's going to take Parker to some uncomfortable places. But Parker determined to get on the front foot right from the bell. Here we go, Mike. He's a step in with that jab to the body, Dell. He's looking for that. Right over the top, there's a great right hand from Parker. Best shot of the round so far with just over a minute to go. Brilliant right hand. And Chisora with that granite chin took it well. Right, accurate start by Joseph Parker. A lot of it at long range. Not allowing Chisora to get up close. Not allowing Chisora to bury his head in the New Zealanders' chest. Very good round, Joel. You've hurt, you've hurt him twice then. You can feel it? Yeah, I Stay agree focused. and echo what Andy Lee said there. It was a very good round for Joseph Parker, very positive. Landed some really That's good shots. Come. Right hand just missing. And that just goes to spell out the difficulty that judges have sometimes because that did look as though it connected for Joseph Parker, but in the end, landed yes on the scoring area, but not clean on the chin as it looked to from some positions around here at ringside. And again, Parker trying to time it on the way in. But Chisora has his first big success of the contest in the opening seconds of the second round. After all the praise for Joseph Parker from Andy Lee in the corner, so Chisora makes the first mark of the second round. Precisely the punch that Andy Lee told Parker to be wary of. And now Parker explodes and suddenly the fight really has come to life. In the opening stages of the second round, both men landing heavily across the first minute. We spoke in the build-up about their grittiness and their resilience, their ability to take shots already being tested. Oh, big white upper part from Joseph Parker, but back up Cesora, superb action. Another clipping uppercut from Parker as the crowd tried to get behind Chisora. Yes, yeah, it's, uh, it's the uppercut, Mike, with both hands. He's rolling, he's bobbing into the shot. Chisora, he takes a big right hand. Another brilliant right hand from Joseph Parker now. And he looks for another one. He gets through. He's measuring his man on the ropes. Chisora here is really taking heavy punishment. Has to cover up. Sees the second one coming and rolls away. Big, big round for Joseph Parker. Listen to me. You've gone back to that swinging shit. Parker, 10 pounds heavier than that first fight. Looked terrific on the scales yesterday. What effect will that have? Oh. As he tries the right uppercut, which Chisora leans into. And Chisora now covers up on the ropes. But Parker is looking for the finish here. Brilliant right hand. He could be just a couple of punches away here. There's nothing coming back yet from Chisora. The crowd get behind him. He topples back off balance. Andy Lee in the corner. Urging Parker forward. He's still stunned. Badly hurt Derek Tazora. Gallantly tries to throw that big overhand right. But he's still hurt. Half the round to go. Left hand from Parker gets through to add to Tazora's problems. Tazora watching. 
trying to read the shots coming. Parkenau allowing Chisora forward and any success being greeted with a roar of approval from the Chisora crowd here in Manchester inside the last 25 seconds of the third round which at times looked as though it would be the last one of the fight but of course Chisora has come back what else would we expect as he starts to work away to the body now and it's Parker who has to cover up what a round That's where Parker wants Chisora. Oh, the lovely oh, roll! Tremendous right out the cut. And this time, Derek Chisora is held up only by the ropes, and so the referee is within his rights to take up the count. And we've still got 50 seconds to go in the fourth round. Chisora recovered in the third. Will he recover all over again as he steps away now? Howard Foster says, get on with it now. Parker looking to pick what might be the finishing shot. Chisora glides underneath the left hook. Very, very clever from Chisora what he's, what he's doing in that corner. Very clever from him. He knows that his man's going to come for him, so he's prepared. Trying to buy time. He needs 20 seconds of it to get back to the relative sanctuary of his own corner. He's in Parker's corner. Can Parker find that shot? Can he detonate one finishing? Spectacular shot. Oh, we get a with another left uppercut. But he's all fired back wildly. What a finish to the round oh, once again. And then it's Ray steps in. And look at the crowd here. That's what heavyweight boxing does. You just never know what's going to happen wait, next. Wait, and who knows what will happen here. Does he go back to Dave Coleman in the box? Right, I'll keep your head. The shape. Unbelievable Eric, action. Discipline, man. Just the, How many years have you the brink How of winning, you? Parker. It was a beautiful right uppercut as Chisora was rolling into it. The ropes keep him up, but the referee gives the count. And just when you think there's not much more to come from Chisora, he comes firing back. That was tremendous stuff at the end of the round. Take your hands off. Well, whatever the message is in the corner for Derek Chisora, this now is about something much, much deeper. It's the fighting instinct that's been so prevalent, that's brought him those successes, albeit not at the highest level in his professional career, and he needs to call on all of that resolve now as he still steps forward. He knows no other direction. Good left hook feint from the jab. Brought it up and there's another right uppercut. That was better for him. Chisori tightened up the guard. Oh, and again, sickening shot from Parker. But still leaning down and walking into those shots, but now gets on the front foot once again. And every now and again, the expression on the face of Parker is how is this man still here tonight after what I've been hitting him with? And now Chisora tries to work away on the inside. And on the front foot straight away goes Chisora, but walks on to another than one of those budding uppercuts from Parker. We've got the sound effects in our ears here at ringside, and we can sense the thudding nature of these shots, the damaging nature of these shots. Chisora has had a couple of really bad spells in this fight, but he's still very much in it here. Oh, beautiful. Oh, that's beautiful. Precision punching in the middle of the sixth round from Joseph Parker. Lovely flashy combination, jab, long left hook, followed by a right hand. Beautiful combination from Parker. But is Chisora becoming almost numbed to the power of those shots because he's taken them well and he landed some solid shots to the body. Another right hand from Parker crunches against the side of the jaw of Chisora. Oh, that's so well. Beautiful right uppercut, he's hurt. After a one-two combination, he then follows up with a right uppercut. And so Chisora takes the count for the second time in the fight. With a minute and 20 seconds and more to go in the seventh round. 
Is this now the resistance finally being broken of Derek Chisora? He walks away once again, takes up Sanctuary in the corner, will cover up now. He bends, tries to throw a counter, tries to catch Parker on the way in. Two good three left up about four. Good combination away. from Parker. And somehow Chisora finds the energy to fight back oh. in desperate straits, but he's hit with another right uppercut. The shot that floored him, but he drives forward with a brilliant right hand to the body. And once again, the crowd getting right behind Chisora. Oh, right hook from oh, Chisora. Chisora. Last few seconds. Where oh, is he finding this energy from? Oh, Parker under oh, pressure. Oh, what a comeback. By Derek Chisora. Tremendous response from Del Boy. My goodness. And now it's Parker's turn to respond. Around the plate one way, then the other, and back again. Heavy. And listen to this crowd once again. They too surely can't believe that he's still here in the eighth round after yet another pummeling in the seventh. Parker now tries to open up again with those oh-so-sharp punches from medium and long range. They've been so successful for him. The straight shots and that uppercut that he oh, went for gone. again. And Chisora once again has to grab onto a rope to stop himself falling. And Howard Foster takes up the count once again. He looks across at Joseph Parker, who takes in the instructions from Andy Lee he's once again. He's going to the corner again. He's going to the corner again. As he's done each time, he's taken a count. Parker here looking for an opening. Chisora denying him once again as the bell sounds. Is that shot again, Remember Mike. City, no matter how tight Beautifully you feel, well. He's more tight. Picks. Right, right up a cut. Point to that shape. See the eyes look. rolling there. Feel the legs. Get the ropes. The legs are all right. Yeah. And keeping them up as well. But for all, we've been praising the resistance of Derek Chisora. Praise due to to Parker for finding the range, for finding these punches. He's a tired man too. Absolutely, boxing really, really well. And for the moment, it seems as though Parker's got three shots here. He can punch almost with impunity as he tries again. A left, right, left hook, and Chisora bounces back against the ropes. Oh! The referee's about to jump in. Oh, back up to the Just as it looked as though Howard Foster was taking half a step forward, so Chisora wings away. into round 11 and the legs barely carried Derek Chisora across the ring from our comedy position our line is with the fighters legs but Chisora is having success at the beginning of this the 11th round you've just got to be careful said Andy Lee yeah he's got to say switch on Joseph Parker he's up on the scorecards no doubt just needs to see the two rounds out. He doesn't want to go for the finish, but he has to stay switched on. Derek is still dangerous. Pouring that jab out to the chest, looking for the overhand right. That's a good chopping right hand from Parker in response. 45 seconds to go in the round. As Parker takes aim once again, steps off, gives himself punching room. But that room is immediately taken up by Chisora. He's eaten two big uppercuts there, Derek Chisora. How he took them, I do not know. Fires back with one inside. The referee calls them together. And you can see in the backdrop how many people getting to their feet here to salute two men. One of them described in the corner just then by David Colwell as a warrior. Likewise, the Samoan, true to his fighting instincts of Joseph Parker.
Andy Lee saying the fight is won. Be careful for the first half of the round and wait till Chisora slows down. Non-stop action for 11 rounds. How are they going to approach this last round? What's left? We've got a minute and 40. Joseph Parker to see this out. Derek Chisora's got to try and land that right hand. He's got any chance of winning this. Good attack from Parker. Two shots followed by right hand. And still half the round here as Chisora shakes his head. Is there still an inside the distance finish to come for Parker? Chisora turns southpaw by the momentum is of his forward attack. Parker opens oh. up once again. Jab and a right hand from Parker. And so the last 30 seconds of the fight look to be in keeping with much of it. The two men firing away. Parker having the better successes at range as he tries a left hand to the body, a right hand to the body, should I say, after a left hand to the head. Action all the way from the first bell to the last. And still the crowd trying to rouse Derek Chisora, who, would you believe it, lands the fast the last meaningful punch of the contest. Derek Chisora somehow, some way, has made it to the final bell. That's an embrace from two warriors there. Absolute superb fight that was, honestly. How we heard that final bell, I do not know. Derek Chisora proving once again why he's referred to as such a warrior. Took up. So many big shots landed from Joseph Parker. He got dropped, he come back up. At the end there, he's still trying to fire away and land his big shots. Teeing off have really worked well from Joseph Parker. That long left hook followed by the right hand. Found the uppercut numerous occasions, but back come Dell firing with the shots. Wired at time, wasn't setting the shots up enough with the jab to the body. But what tremendous action that was. That was fantastic stuff. Hats off to both men. Yep, tremendous fighting warriors. And here now with the verdict is David Diamante. Ladies and gentlemen, let's get our hands together and show our appreciation for these two fighters, please. After 12 rounds of action here in Manchester, England, we go to the judges' score totals. Justino Di Giovanni, 115-110. Ingo Barabas, 115-111. Michael Alexander, 114-112. All three for your winner by unanimous decision. And still, the WBO Intercontinental Heavyweight Champion, Lupe Soleil Lauli Ale.